Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to briefly describe the function of the bypass or blow-off valve and tell you how that works and how you can tell if it's working or not. Your bypass valve or blow-off valve is designed to stop you from having boost peaks and spikes in your turbo system. So, if you're driving along and something is wrong with your bypass valve, you may be cruising along, you let off the accelerator, and all of a sudden you see that your turbo pressure is rising instead of falling. That may indicate that your bypass valve is stuck. Now the most common problem that you have with these bypass valves is that they begin to leak and all of a sudden or slowly but surely you're building less and less turbo boost pressure as you're driving. This is what a bypass valve looks like. It's a rubber diaphragm. It has a little bleed hole in the middle of it. And on the other side of it, it has a spring that's rated for a certain amount of pressure and a disc there. And this sits inside that turbo. Okay, so you're driving along and you know how much you're supposed to boost in PSI or you know how far your needle's supposed to go over. Then one day you notice it's not going as far. And that slowly gets worse and worse. Your boost pressure drops from 10 PSI all the way down to 8. Then it drops to 7, 6, 5. Before you know it, you're only boosting 3 or 4 PSI. Well, chances are you have a torn diaphragm in your bypass valve. Believe it or not, after 20 years and 255,000 miles, my boost pressure was only about 3 or 4 PSI. And when I pulled this uh, cartridge apart, I found that I had holes in my diaphragm of my bypass valve. It's not a very expensive part, but if you learn that your turbo is not boosting the pressure it's supposed to be, and you don't have issues with your exhaust or some kind of error code, there's a good chance that you need to replace your bypass diaphragm. Now, some of these diaphragms are rated at different PSI. So, if you're going for performance and you're trying to boost more pressure, you may need to replace this with one that produces uh, more pressure or allows more pressure to build than your stock one, because the stock one may only be rated maybe at 15 PSI. It's normally rated higher than what your system is going to produce. So, to overview, you have a bypass or blow-off valve. If that diaphragm in there gets torn, it'll stop you from building your proper pressure in your turbo system, which will make it not as efficient as it's designed to. So if you're experiencing low boost pressure, you probably have a, a torn diaphragm in the back of your turbo. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.